Russians deployed 5,000 troops to Mariupol. Expert revealed reason. Russians have brought around 5,000 troops to the occupied Mariupol. They will be involved in constructing an alternative logistical corridor from Rostov-on-Don through temporarily occupied Mariupol, Berdyansk and Melitopol to Crimea, according to RBC Ukraine. I am confident that they have come to build a road along the coast of the Azov Sea to serve as a logistical artery. Because if we cut off both the railway and the Crimean bridge, they won't be able to transport what they need. What they have in their operational depots will run out in a month or two. Oleksiy Hetman, a retired major of the Ukrainian armed forces and military expert, noted. Previously, RBC Ukraine reported that Russian occupiers are preparing for the loss of their logistical routes. So they want to build a new railway branch from Rostov-on-Don through temporarily occupied Ukrainian cities Mariupol, Berdyansk and Melitopol along the coast of the Azov Sea to Crimea. In parallel, Russia has brought about 5,000 new reserves to the temporarily occupied Mariupol and the surrounding area. The main difference is two cannons on their shoulder straps. The advisor to the mayor of Mariupol, Petro Andriyushenko, noted that the last similar introduction of new reserves in Mariupol was recorded in April 2023. The new railway construction by the Mariupol occupiers is an alternative to the route that passes through the Volnovaka Tokmak Zankoy and goes further into Russia. This is an essential logistical link for the Russians. With its help, they supply their military with equipment and human resources. For this reason, in recent days, the occupiers have intensified to the south of Mariinka to push the armed forces of Ukraine as far away from Volnovaka as possible. The armed forces of Ukraine keep the railway under fire control.